क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन अ रिसर्चर मेसर्स द हाइट ऑफ हंड्रेड स्कूल चिल्ड्रेन फॉर ही स्टडी वॉट टाइप ऑफ वेरिएबल इज हाइट ना वेरिएबल इज ए कॉन्टिन्यूस डेटा ना नॉमिनल रेफर्स टू नेम्स ओनली ऑर्डिनल ऑर्डर डेटा दिस बेसिकली रेफर्स टू टॉल इंटरमीडिएट एंड शॉर्ट नेम्स गर्ल बॉय तो बेसिकली वेन एवर वी यूज क्वालिटेटिव डेटा वी यूटिलाइज दिस पर्टिकुलर स्केल ना कॉन्टिन्यूअस कैन टेक in between values discrete can take in between values example number of children brothers and sisters a typical examples of discrete data now question number 14 which percentile is equivalent to median median refers to middle value which is 50 This is the median. Now, question number fifteen. All of the following are true for standard deviation except. Now, standard deviation is classically called as root mean square deviation. So it is the square root of average of square division of observation from arithmetic mean. True. It is the most important measure of dispersion. True. It is expressed in same units as the measurement of observation. True. Because if I say mean is for systolic blood pressure is 120 mm of mercury the standard deviation will be plus minus 10 mm of mercury the square of standard deviation is called as mean deviation false because standard deviation whole square is called as variance is called as variance so answer to this question was option number 4 option number 4 now what is mean deviation what is mean deviation basically the difference in all the data which we observe yes that is called as mean deviation that is called as mean deviation okay question number 16 what is the relative risk of acquiring tb in households with a culture positive case compared with households without tb now whenever we get this case the first thing you have to see is the table we have to first rearrange this table so exposed non exposed exposure talks about culture positive non exposure is culture negative so tb No TB. Ten, ten. Yes. Now, five hundred, ten thousand. Relative risk is A divided by A plus B divided by C divided by C plus D. That is, incidence in exposed by incidence in non-exposed. Yes, which is. 10 by 500 divided by 10 by 10000 the answer comes out to be 20 the answer comes out to be 20 so answer to this question is option number 4 answer to this question is option number 4 yes now question number 17 calculate the sensitivity now mp slide this is 
gold standard ICT kit. This is screening test. Now, whenever we draw the two by two table for these tests, it should be very very clear to us that gold standard has to be written over here and screening test has to be written over here. Now, to make this change, we have to just alter the cell number B and C. We have to just alter the cell number B and C. So this is 20. This is 30. So sensitivity is 30 by 60. The answer to this question was option number one. Yes. So you should just be careful for such kind of calculation based question these days. But the examiner is just trying to trick you because the examiner knows you would have come to the exam in anxiety and you would not pay attention to such simple things. Now calculate the TFR. So to calculate the TFR, I will make a sum total of all the ASFRs divided by 1000 into interval in each age group. So if I sum up all this, so 250, 100, 350, 400, yes? Now 138.9 plus 41.6, so 15, 10, 5, yes. So it will be 580.5. Divided by 1000. Now, the main trick is to see the interval in each age group. Now, if you see over here, many of you, what you will do is interval of age group, you will do 24 minus 20, that is 4, which is wrong. See, it was taught to us in maths that in such case of intervals, we should always count all the borders as well. So, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, it will be 5. So, I will multiply it by 5. So my answer for this question would have roughly come as 2.9. Answer to this question would have been option number 3. Okay. Question 19. Number of light bulbs in an area is 2000. So the maternal mortality ratio has to be calculated. Where the number of females who died during AMC was 10. During delivery was 30. Postpartum 100 died of which 10 before 42 and rest after 42 days till 1 year. So I will only count this 10. So 10, 30, 40, 50 into 1 lakh into 1 lakh. So my answer will be 2500 per 1 lakh live birth. The answer to this question would have been Option number one. Answer to this question would have been option number one. Yes? Okay. Now, question 20. You have been asked to design a study for a disease whose prevalence is 10%. The alpha error is 1. If the alpha error is 1, the confidence level will be 99%. The relative pressure is 20%. Power is 20. There is no role of power. What will be the accurate sample size? So n is equal to z square dq by d square. Now since the confidence level is 99, the z will be 3. So 9 into p will be 10, q will be automatically 90 by d square. So they have given 20%. This d refers to absolute precision. So Absolute precision is calculated as relative precision into prevalence into prevalence. So it is 20% of 10% that is 2. So 2 into 2. So answer will come as 2025. Answer will come as 2025. Type of relationship in this image is now if it would have been a positive relationship, somewhat like this. Negative relationship, this curvilinear. The best answer to this question would have been a non-linear relationship. So 
so this is a non linear relationship now the basic difference which we should understand is between non linear there is some form of pattern versus no correlation where there is no pattern or it is purely haphazard yes okay question number 22 the vector in the image is found in this is black fly now how can i pick up that this is black fly because first it is black colored now the wings are gauze like gauze which we use in our medical colleges and hospitals okay now this disease, this causes onchocerciasis also called as river blindness this is not seen in india this is not seen in india okay question 23 which technique is this now you have to pick up using this line and alum this is the nal gondas technique of defluoridation of water nal gondas technique in this we always add line first followed by alum now the contraceptive in the diagram is chaya chaya is centrochroman dmpa is antara earlier the name was saheli but now the name has been changed to chaya question 25 meta analysis the image shows now, how to read meta analysis very simple we should just look into the diamond over here we can see that the diamond is less than 1 since it is less than 1 since it is less than 1 so this refers to a protective phenomenon if it would have been more than one then it would have been a risk factor if it would have been exactly equal to one then it would have been null value or referred as no association the answer to this question was option number 1